Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diary. So today I'll make another video on the same series of knowledge share and in this video itself I am just talking about the boom topic that is whether the AI and robotics combined can take a job of a human being or not. So I'll try to really discuss all the possibilities over here itself and what's my view over here itself and normally this is the same statement couple of guys, um, high tech guys are giving it but still couple of guys having a thought like whether really ai can overcome or take over the jobs of all the human beings so it's not like that and how exactly the deadly combination of ai and the robotics can take over the job of humans like ai is definitely be a software based but if we just try to get indicate with a robot then how exactly it will get an impact so that's the reason behind it at today's the topic is whether the ai and the bots are already taking our jobs here one things we can do about that so like taking that if it's taking uh, taking over then what exactly we can do it so i'll just give it a suggestion also what exactly we can do it so that this if this is a problem arises in the future as well definitely we we are prepared well enough so that we can solve this problem but i'm sure about this is not at all be a problem whosoever the person has concern about it whosoever the person is working this field they know um what is the potential of human being and what's the potential of AI and the robotics okay so we'll just discuss about all the topics over here itself and what are the things which we have to do it everything i'll just try to get covered in this video so going further with that so if we just talk about the concerns the concerns about the AI and the robotics potentially taking our over the job is significant and widely discussed couple of guys are discussing about it like whether the AI and the robotics combined daily combination can take over the job of human being or not that's concern and that was the reason couple of guys are discussing about it so however there are proactive steps uh, we can take to address this issue and ensure a balanced approach to integrating these technologies into a workforce definitely so instead of just uh, having a fear with these technologies we can integrate with our uh, workforce itself so that we can utilize those technologies instead of just uh, having a fear with those technologies whether um, they can replace us that's not possible we definitely can use those technologies just to enhance our skills or i can say that uh, the productivity we can increase it we can enhance the productivity those things we can do it very easily but if you're saying like uh, this will take over you no that's not at all possible going further with that if we talking about the key key to navigate this ai driven landscape lies in upskilling and adaptability uh, here's how the individual can do like what exactly the people can do it like if, uh, if i'm talking about any individual guy who can who is working like a software developer working like a uh, security professional working in any other field it's all what other things the person can do it this is a generic type of stuff so i have not make this content for a security like i can make it for the security also but i just want to make it uh individually and make it a generic one so that everyone can take a um, take this video as uh, they can use this taking as a reference itself and they just start thinking about it instead of if i'll just try to make it only for the security definitely that was only for the security guys i don't want that if you want it then definitely just um, you can put the comment in the comment section of this video i'll definitely make a video for that security section if you wanted that just to know what are the steps but this generic video can solve the problem for all the domain itself either you are a technical guy or non technical guy definitely that will solve going further with that identify the core competency that is the first point second embrace the lifelong uh, learning that's one thing develop ai literacy that's third thing then build human centric skills that the fourth point and the final point is explore new opportunities so going further with that if we talking about the identify core competency what exactly is it so pinpoint the skills what are uniquely human such as creativity critical thinking and emotional intelligence so i'll always having the same thought like uh, even i'm using the ai right now in my day to day work itself but i can say like uh, not ai can't take my job like as whatever the critical thinking we have it as a human being the ai can't think it too far like either we have to build the ai to uh, that extent that ai can think a critical type of stuff then it's a different case but right now ai is well to do like whatever the task we give it to the ai ai can help us for it or uh, they can do the task or it's a similar type of uh, i can say the counter type of job where the stuff is already defined we know this is the action points 
the AI can do it very easily for us. But if you're talking about like a critical thing where we have to think about it, like talking about any complex software which we have to build it, as per the feedback itself, we just try to make, we just thinking about couple of ways, what are the possibilities, how we can make it, how we can optimize it, those things we can use the AI. But critical thinking is required, which is for that human is the only source from where we can we can get the details of the critical thinking only. Not from the AI, we can't get those details about it. But if you're talking about the creativity, definitely a creativity is also one of the things which we can get it. Like I can say a Jenny itself, like whatever the things you wanted, but you have to give some input from your side. Then only you can you can get the output. Like a couple of cases, uh, a content which you wanted, you can get it very easily. But you want it, you have to supply something, and then on the way so that you can you can get the content out of it. So that's the only thing behind the creativity. You need it. What type of topic, like whatever topic, like example, if I'll just make a video for that. Also, if you want. If I wanted like on which topic I have to make the uh, video in few portals I can get the idea about it very easily but the thing is that I just have to give the creativity and I just have to think in which field I have to make it then according to the field itself I just have to go for the way that I have to shortlist and then I have to prepare the content on it so that's all about it and for which a human is required going further with that if we're talking about the embrace lifelong learning yeah that's too uh, that's true about it stay up to date on the latest technologies advancements and their implementation for your field so whatever the things you're learning it right now make sure you have to be up to date you have to know the latest technology which is introduced in your market if you're seeing like any new technologies get introduced in the market and you're working in the same domain like example if you're a software developer and a new programming language or any programming language which is an enhancement of your existing existing programming language and definitely you have to you have to think about it you have to um, having understanding of that programming language so that in future aspects if your existing programming language get obsolete at least you can utilize it but if you wait Till your programming language get obsoleted and then you try to switch it then it's too late so that's all about it even in your security also like whatever the latest techniques is getting introduced in a market itself you just have to learn it like security professionals all the time they are learning a new techniques like definitely all the time the blue teamers are trying to get it blocked and red teamers are always trying to bypass those security levels that was the reason uh, red teamers are doing it for um, from a longer time itself but talking about other domains also they have to be innovate they have to learn something out of it and they have to be up to date so then they can they can figure out different different possibilities for it going further with that if we talk about the develop ai literacy so understand how ai works and its potential application to enhance your work that's clear about it you should know how much potential the ai is having it and we have to use that potential in our work so that we can uh, we can make our work productive instead of investing uh, work like a slave itself i'll just give it a straightforward blunt answer instead of work like a slave you can use the ai on the behalf of you just to do that slave work for you and you can do only a smart work so that was one of the things you should have to know about it what's the potential of ai according try to get it mapped with your work so that you can do the only the critical work creative work you can do it and rest the automated stuffs will be taking care of the ai itself now the fourth point is a build human centric skills so focus on skills that come uh, <coughs> focus on the skills that complement ai such as a problem solving communications and the teamwork that's also one of the thing which is most important so you just have to focus on the skills complement the ai all the time itself you have to complement the ai also that's one of the thing such as problem solving communication and the teamwork this is also one of the main thing which is also most important thing when we're talking about uh, build a human centric skill set. So everything we have to make it around us only not uh, we just have to rely only on the AI itself. That's one of the point. Now going to the final point that is explore new opportunities. So be open to explore a new career path or industries that leverage AI as a tool itself. So according to me, I'm considering robotics and uh, the AI as a tool only. 
in my case i'm use i'm just thinking about it as a tool and we have to use the tool to uh, make our work easy and we can figure out multiple ways multiple opportunities we can try to figure out like in my case itself i've tried to figure out multiple opportunity multiple sections multiple career path i'm just trying to get figure out like where exactly we can utilize these ai steps very easily so that is one of the things you just have to think about it where exactly you can utilize your skills if you learn about it try to get it like somewhere else so that was the reason a new opportunity you can explore it very easily over AI itself if you know what the potential of AI itself okay these are the things now going to I'm just giving some examples for the resources and initiatives for it so def definitely these are the courses like this is not that like I can say like these are the only courses but these are just a few courses entry ng course is one of the course which you can get it easily on uh, Coursera even on YouTube you can get it very easily um, there are a course of EDX also uh, LinkedIn learning is also one of the course but these are paid courses these are these are I think uh, it might be possibility deep uh, deep learning courses it's freely available only a certificate is not uh, provided in case of course there are also couple of courses are freely available you can learn it but you're not getting any certificate for it to get the certificate definitely you have to pay uh, LinkedIn Learning definitely have a subscription that only you can get it access that and these are the final workforce development program these are I can say that also a program which is non profitable organization or offering to just run to program and helping the work workers transition to a new role itself so if you want to learn and just move it from your existing role to the new role this is also one of the course which you can prefer with that other than that lot of courses are available in a market itself you can go through any courses but make sure you have to know the concepts well and then you try to build that always remember when you try to learn something then at the time you have to make a base appropriately then only try to make a building on the top of it no one can make uh, everything on the top no one can land on the top itself the person will have to start from the ground that's most important so courses are a number of courses are available itself like it definitely like few courses are feasible to you to learn a few courses are not you can't understand anything about it so make sure that after reading the content after reading the stuffs about the AI itself you can try to get understand whether you can get the details appropriately or not if you're not then definitely try to go it for the for and the course like in my opinion itself I'll do the same thing like I'll just open the course try to see a couple of lectures whether this is uh, the frequencies uh, I can able to understand this as well or not if i'm not then definitely have to move to the another lecture or i can move to the another course itself where i can get the more details about it instead of the same one so don't stick with the one course itself if you think like this is not the appropriate way where you're not getting the appropriate details go ahead for the with another course you can learn a lot with that with that course itself everyone having a different type of taste and you can pick as per your taste itself so final section is redefining the work which is most important so the future of work involves um, i can say the symbiotic relationship between a human and the ai by focusing on the tasks that require a human judgment creativity and empathy we can leverage ai to augment our abilities or create a new opportunities so we can use the ai for the new opportunity even we can use the ai for our work also to make it productive <coughs> or we can utilize our skills from our side just to make uh, do the creative work where the judgment is required we can use our skills but the thing is if we so we wanted the AI to do the work for us we can utilize the AI so that is the segmentation and the thing is that we need integration in future aspects then only we can survive otherwise there is no point for it like if anyone is saying like uh, AI will take your job definitely that will take a job in the context like if you try to learn the same stuffs and try to do it the same forever that's not feasible the as a technology is getting changed continuously it's you know way it's a new technology you have to learn it and try to get it integrate ai now you have to integrate ai with your existing work otherwise you can't sustain for a longer time once the ai will fully be integrated then definitely at that time if you are not the first one you make sure you are not the last one also so that's all about the video i just want to get it shared with you and i hope like with this video you are learning a lot the point of view which i just want to get it conveyed to you it's very clear about it don't having a fear never having 
having a fear with that like whether yeah i will take my job they are the technologies they are the tools you simply have to use it for your work but try to enhance your skills uplift your skills so that you can reach to that level where you can use it and you can overcome that problem and having a thought for it okay so thank you so much once again take care bye bye